Here's problem 2612. In the figure, if C1 is equal to 10 microfarads, C2 is 12 microfarads, C3 is 15 microfarads, and the voltage of the battery is 70 volts, determine the energy stored in C1. Alright, so C1 is 10 microfarads, C2 is 12 microfarads, C3 is 15 microfarads, and the voltage of the battery is 70 volts. Now when we're looking for energy, we know that energy stored in a capacitor would be one-half CV squared. And there's another form of, of writing this. That would be the, the charge squared on a capacitor divided by 2C, or one-half the charge times the voltage. Any one of these three expressions would give us the energy stored in a capacitor. In particular, we would probably want to find either the uh, voltage or the charge on a particular capacitor to figure out its energy since we already know its capacitance. So this last version probably would not be used too much. If we can find either the voltage or the charge on capacitor number one, then we can figure out the energy stored in that capacitor. So that's what we want to do. We're also going to use the idea that capacitors in series have the same charge and they have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. Let me write that down. Capacitors in series have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. They all have the same charge, and they all have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. So if we could find the charge on the equivalent capacitance, we would find the charge on C1. So let's simplify this circuit. Let's find the equivalent capacitance of these three in series. Well, 1 over C equivalent will be equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. So that will be equal to... 1 over 10 plus 1 over 12 plus 1 over 15 or I could write this as 6 sixtieths plus 5 sixtieths plus 4 sixtieths which would give me 15 sixtieths or 1 fourth hence flipping both sides C equivalent is equal to 4 microfarads And that's nice to know. So our, our circuit looks like this, where we have one equivalent capacitance with a battery that's 70 volts across this 4 microfarads. Well, now we can find the charge on that 4 microfarads because we know that charge is equal to CV. And we know the capacitance of this, and we know its voltage. So the charge our equivalent charge is going to be 4 microfarads times 70 volts which would be 280 microcoulombs. That's the charge on the equivalent capacitance but we know that capacitors in series have the same charge and they have the same charge as their equivalent capacitance. So the charge on Capacitor 1 is equal to our equivalent capacitance, and that is equal to 280 microcoulombs. So we can calculate the energy stored in capacitor 1. That's going to be equal to 1 half its charge squared divided by its capacitance. That's going to be 280 microcoulombs squared over 2 times 10 microfarads. So this is going to give us, let's see, 280 squared divided by 10 divided by 2, 3,920. Now I'm going to have a micro micro over a micro, so this is going to give me microjoules left over. Or I could write this as 3.92 millijoules. So that is the uh, energy stored 
in capacitor number one, I should put a one there, in capacitor C1, the 10 microfarad capacitor, 3.92 millijoules of energy stored.